Now we're gonna talk about the spoon tilt test. For this, we need a spoon and we're gonna evaluate how a scoop of liquid or food falls off or doesn't fall off of a spoon. And this is used as a determination of cohesiveness and stickiness. It's used for level four and it's used for level five. So some notes on the spoon tilt test. It needs to be cohesive enough to hold its shape on the spoon, but it should not be firm and sticky. A full spoonful must plop off the spoon if the spoon is tilted or turned sideways. A very gentle flick using only fingers and wrists, but not the arm may be necessary to dislodge the sample from the spoon, but the sample should slide off easily with very little food left on the spoon. A thin film remaining on the spoon is acceptable and you should be able to see the spoon through the thin film. The sample may spread very slightly on a plate. Now let's go back and talk a little bit about this gentle flick. So many people around the world are training their employees to hold their elbow firm with their other hand of their other arm. And that way, when they do the flick, they're only using their fingers and their wrists and they're not using the whole arm. So that's, um, that's one way you can train your employees. And now we're gonna watch a video and you're gonna see how this is done. You're gonna see a couple examples. So this is the spoon tilt test for level four. And this one, look at that, that falls off the spoon. So that's, that passes. This next one appears to be mashed potatoes. That looked pretty good. That came off the spoon. But look at this, too sticky. It's not coming off the spoon. So what that tells us is that a food may start off as acceptable, but as it cools or sits out, the acceptability can change. So it's really important that anyone assisting with feeding be aware of these potential changes and know how to spot the signs. And when appropriate, they may need to recheck the food.